Do you want to add some glitter to your photos? You can do it with the power of Photoshop. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is how to create a glitter effect Photoshop action, originally written by Marco Kozokar on Envato Tatspas. First, open the photo that you want to work with. Before we get started, check a couple of things. Your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8 bits per channel. To check this, go to Image, Mode. For best results, your photo size should be between 2000 and 4000 pixels wide high. To check this, go to Image, Image Size. Your photo should be the background layer. If it's not, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. Now go to Window, Actions, and in the Actions panel, create a new set and name it Glitter. Then create a new action and name it Glitter. Choose the Quick Selection tool and select the background of the photo. Then press Ctrl-Shift-I to invert the selection. Click Select and Mask to clean up the selection. Press Ctrl-J to create a new layer using the selection and name this new layer Subject. Select the background layer and create a new solid color layer. Select this color and name it background color. Double click this layer and check gradient overlay. Use these settings. Select the subject layer, go to File, Place, Embed it, and select the texture from the first texture link. Then set the width and height of the texture to 400% and the angle to minus 90 degrees. Name this layer Base Glitter 1. Change the blending mode of this layer to Screen. Go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All to add a layer mask that reveals the whole layer. Then, set the foreground color to black, choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush, and brush to reveal the face. Feel free to use different settings for the opacity of the brush. Press Ctrl-J to duplicate this layer. Then go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal to flip the layer horizontally. After that, using the Move tool, click and drag the texture to move it to the right. Name this layer Base Glitter 2 and drag it just below the Base Glitter 1 layer. Now select the Base Glitter 1 layer, go to File, Place, Embed it, and select the texture from the second texture link. Then set the width and height of the texture to 200% and name this layer Add Glitter 1. Change the blending mode of this layer to Lighten. Now add a new solid color fill layer using the same color as before. Press ctrl o g to create a clipping mask. Then change the blending mode of this layer to Color. Now ctrl click on the Add Glitter 1 layer to select both layers at the same time. Then press ctrl j to duplicate these layers. Select the Add Glitter 1 copy layer and using the Move tool, click and drag anywhere inside the canvas to position this layer as you like. Now press Ctrl T to transform this layer and set the angle to minus 30 degrees. Select the texture with its mask and drag these layers just below the Add Glitter 1 layer. After that, name these two layers according to their sequence number. Now repeat this process to create as many glitter layers as you want. Feel free to use different transform settings for each of the texture layers. Select the subject layer and press Ctrl-J to duplicate it. Then drag this layer to the top. Now press Ctrl-Shift-U to desaturate this layer. Then change the blending mode of this layer to soft light and set the opacity to 73%. Name this layer Subject Details. Add a gradient map layer and name it Color Look.
change the gradient by using the settings I'm presenting here. Now change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. Press D to reset the swatches. Then add a new gradient map layer and name it Overall Contrast. Now change the blending mode of this layer to soft light and set the opacity to 73%. Select the Overall Contrast layer, press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a screenshot and then press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Then go to Filter, Other, High Pass and set the radius to 2 pixels. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Hard Light and name it Overall Sharpening. Now you know how to create a glitter effect Photoshop action. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.